What's that mantra? One play, one shot, one save. That's what we're doing. Let's, let's keep that up, because we're going to need that right about now. Otherwise, it's going to get real ugly. What's going on? Matthew Snows, the Gold Crease Guardian here. Time to really test out these new pads. Let's do it. Nothing like taking new pads out against the best team in the best league that I play in. Uh, Mitten Sports, gonna try it out with the new pads. I felt okay in my last game. If you did not see that, the link is up in the corner. But it was all right. Um, felt a little bit better, got a little bit of a sneaky skate in the next day. So we'll see if that helped me going into this game. Didn't help on that shot. Um, Short side high, pretty good, but you can see, especially from the net camera, that we lean away from that puck. Got to be shifting into that with my whole body. I kind of go to my right as I'm moving, but not with my shoulder, so that opens up that space. A little bit better positioning probably helps with that. I would not say we're off to a flying start here. This one, pass out. I'm a little bit off of his uh, stick, a little bit more towards the middle. My stick also catches the post as I'm trying to close down those two things. I mean, it goes between my arm and my body, and I've given up two goals on the first four shots. Yay. That was close. That was too close. We're settling in a little bit now, except for that is a mishandled puck. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. All good, right? No. And I'm not happy. So this is really bad. Comes in really slow. I get caught in between decisions. Just cover it, man. What are you doing? Just smother that puck. Now I'm out of the net trying to figure out what's going on. Pass out. Rips it posting in. I'm probably a little bit off my angle coming from behind the net. Three goals on nine shots, like seven minutes into this game, and I need to regroup. What's that mantra? One play, one shot, one save. That's what we're doing. Let's, let's keep that up, because we're going to need that right about now. Otherwise, it's going to get real ugly. That was lucky. Just did not follow that puck well. Took a weird bounce, honestly, off the boards to go to that side even, but whatever. Ooh, broken play goal. Love that. We got one back. That's good. I mean, never know what's going to happen in these games, so it's good to get one back right away. That one probably should have stayed in my chest, but whatever. If my team can pick me up a little bit here, it's not like we're out of it. We can play with these guys if we are, if we commit to doing the right things. So that's, I mean, we're right there. Oh, post. I've started to make a couple of good saves here now. Really better positioning, better skating. I'm feeling better in my body. I actually switched from the toe bungees to skate laces uh, for this game. Just wasn't feeling quite right in those toe bungees, a little too tight at times. Hey, whatever works, right? And we've got another goal, three to two. Really good save here to uh, make sure he can't find that rebound actually directed away from him. Uh, these pads are helping with that for sure. But again, I've settled into this game and been hit in the head three times as well. Ooh, tie game, and right at the end of the first period. Remember how I said I needed to settle in? Well, settled in, repeat that mantra in your head a few times. Now it's three to three. Like I said, we're not out of this game. It's tied after one. That's good, we can, we can play from here. Ah, 
I just kind of whiffed on that one. Um, he turns around, lets this shot go. It's not a crazy shot, not a hard shot, not a super well played shot. I just miss it. Um, that's really all I can say about that one. Maybe a little bit, just pick that puck up a little bit sooner, I think is the best way for me to do things. Just would like to make that save. Good one here though, coming across on my feet too, beating that play, and you can see on my feet gain a little depth, take that space away moving forward, and uh, really, really nice save. That feels better. I'm still significantly below the expected goals at this point. I think there was only like an expected two goals at this point in the game, so. That's not great! Oh my god, we could have this game tied still. Oh well. Good save there again. Um, we're doing good things. We're doing good things now as time goes along. Ooh, ooh, nice pass. Good finish here. I mean, I feel pretty quick getting side to side, but he goes right between the body and the arm. Um, just a good finish. I think if I'm leaning forward, I'd make that save, but it's hard to say. Oh my god. That was such a sick shot. Uh, so the guy behind the net said it. That was a sick shot. Oh my god. Let's just go ahead. Pause it right here. He's an off-handed one-timer below the dot outside. Like, okay, crossbar and in from there. Sure. Like, I'll give you that one. I don't care. That, that's so good. I'm not upset about that one at all. At this point, I am significantly less positive in the game than I am on video. That is typically how it goes for me. But I was not feeling horrible. There were some goals, obviously, that I would have liked back. But I'm feeling like I'm playing a little bit better than I started. I'm settling into the game. It's not horrible. And, I mean, my team is scoring goals. We're, we're keeping it close. We're now within two again. So it's not like we're far out of this. We keep getting chances too. You just can't bury on some of them. All I have to do here is continue to find ways to make saves. And if I can do that, we've got a chance. We're not out of it. And then the third guy. Guy from the polar bears. He's got a lot better. He's like, you know, really they just have more guys showing up, which I think helps them. If you have to so much these guys are so good at two two things they really excel at i mean they're good at everything but they really excel at creating plays where they can get the puck moving across the middle and creating traffic that's what makes them so dangerous because they do both of those things very effectively and when you combine them especially it's it's so hard for a goaltender so as this game goes on i start to take a little bit less initial depth because i know that i can Again, that's part of me settling into a game. And the other thing is I start to be a little bit more patient on my feet. Those two things combined put me in a better position to make saves in this game and to keep my team in it because it's only six to four after two. It's not like we're out of this game. By the way, I don't know what's going on with this camera. This was supposed to be my good camera that died at the other end. So we're gonna try a couple of new things and hopefully that fixes it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, we're going to try and keep this one right where it is as long as we can. Maybe we can tie the game. This kind of stinks. We try to clear this up the middle. It flips up, gets knocked out of the air. Low glove shot from there. And I was a little bit kind of, I, I was a little bit wild moving around in before that. So I wasn't super set. So... All those things combined for kind of an iffy goal as I get hit in the head for like the fourth time this game. But, um, you know, I just keep trying to make saves. Like this one right here is really good. If we can do that, we've shown the ability to come back in this game. It's not out of it. We'll have to get out there. Nice little leg flipper save there to, uh, kick the foot into the post right on as he uh, jams that puck from the short side. That was a tricky play, actually.
Not bad. Not bad. We're only down two. There's seven minutes left in this game. It's not out of the realm of possibility for us to score two goals. We've done it a couple of times in this game, I think, in that span of time. So, not ruling anything out. These guys are really good, but you can see that we've settled into this game really nicely in this third period. Um, I had to cut out a lot of footage of them just skating around the zone passing. Because, first of all, that's what they do. Good net drive save here with the blocker. But... Also, my team did a really good job of setting up in a prevent defense, not letting anything through the middle, trying to prevent some traffic, and then that creates easier saves and easier plays most of the time. They still obviously get those plays off because they're very skilled, but at the same time, we're taking away the most dangerous opportunities most of the time. This one's just great. Deep backdoor pass, that trailer is their favorite guy to hit, Get over there on my feet, hits me in the chest. If I want to make a save on a three on two or a two on one, that is the textbook one every time. Mmm, what a finish. Backhand, tuck, short side, we're, we're almost tied. We're down one, three and a half minutes. All I have to do is make the next save. If I keep making the next save, we have a chance. We can get back in this one. All of that being said, I don't appreciate this puck. Um, I come over, make the save, but look at this squeak through the five hole right next to the net. I, uh, I did not hear him blow the whistle, and so I got concerned. So I looked over, I saw that puck, was able to cover it. Um... Yeah, I also don't appreciate how long my team is taking to try and tie this game. We have a habit this year of leaving everything till the last second. And I would really like it if we could get one and uh, at least give us a chance in overtime. It'd be, it'd be good, you know? Here we go, empty net. We got less than a minute left. Let's try and tie this bad boy up, come on. Oh, that's not gonna do it. That's bad turnover. Why, why'd he blow the whip? Okay, so this ref thought this puck went in. He tried to claim it went through the net. That is very clearly outside. Uh, so we got that figured out. Now we have a neutral zone face off. We got to try and get this puck deep, you know. I don't know why this wasn't icing. It must have deflected off someone. That's fine. One last chance in the neutral zone. Not going to get it done. Hard when you leave it to the last second against these guys, but it was a good effort, right? Well, there we go. Um, you know what? Not a bad result given the start of that game. I was not great at the start kind of gave up some bad goals finally settled into it by midway through the second period by that they had six uh only gave up one after that team got a lot of offense going so there was a chance we did pretty well but just can't leave it to the last minute against a team like that and i can't really put us down that much that usually causes a problem as well uh new pads feel really really good the glove, just a little bit of an adjustment working through that. I talked about that in the last video. It's really just a pocket position in relation to the glove. It's not so much here as it is here. I've got to get a little bit more used to this position uh, for putting my hand there for catching pucks. But I'll get used to that. We'll keep rolling on and hopefully get some better performances in the books. I've got a lot of hockey coming up. We're going to go back outdoors for the Clark Park Classic again this year. If you remember those videos from last year, they were a lot of fun. So hopefully um, those will go really well. I'm looking forward to getting those up on the channel. Uh, I'm going to have three of those for sure. Maybe up to five, I think. I believe there was a semifinal and a final in this tournament. We'll see. As things go along, you'll see them come up to the channel. Especially if you've subscribed and hit the notification bell. So you know when I'm uploading videos, lots of content coming. I look forward to bringing it all to you. So I'll see everybody for the next video.